Hey everyone, I've created a little bit of a template here and I can already see problems with it. But anyway, so what we're doing is earlier I made a video on how to make modes and there's no point in making modes if you can't use them. So one of the, the cool things um, about them is you can use them to change your music in a subtle way by just changing a few scale degrees. So once you know how to control them, you can do them. Some ideas will work, some ideas won't work. And um, as always, just because you can doesn't mean you should, but we're gonna play here for a little bit. So I have a nice little melody here that I wrote in um, one, five, six, four, and just a regular composition. Let's see what happens. Not too bad. Da. Have you ever thought you could have a five of a diminished chord? Apparently you can. Okay, so I did this one in regular major Ionian, and then I switched it to Dorian. And of course, because um, the key change turns chords into diminish where we may not necessarily want them to diminish, we have to change them. So I am going to change you to something a little more palatable. About three? No. Two. There. One, five, two, four. Uh, a little bizarre. Let's see what it sounds like. Not too bad. Okay, now I can't have this. So if I made this a two, go back and make this a two, and then I make this a five. Five of two. Is that it? And then change some scale degrees here. raise half and I'm just going to move these around so that they're not there we go let's see what happens so I'm keeping the same shape same um, ideas and of course because I had those diminished chords it just sounds really horrible um, but let's see what happens here Ooh, I gotta change this one. There we go. What's that go? All right. Not my favorite, but there are other ways to explore modes. And the whole idea, and the reason why I love this program is because you can do it the computer does the work for you and um, you don't have to um, you know, think about it too hard. It just does it for you and you can see it right away and hear it right away whether it's going to work. See, I like that one. What if I, you know, this... Let's add some more tension. What if I did that? Make it a seven. What happens if I add a seven to it? Do I get another? Ah, that's what I need to do. Lower half. Yeah, so that if I add that seventh. Okay, so I'm going to just do some. See, what if I did that? And so things resolve the right way. 
ooh, close. And just move these around. I'm trying to maintain the shape. It doesn't have to be exact. this one from below. See what that does. There you go. That's not too bad. All right. So here's my first one. I'm making a slight variation just by changing the mode and moving some notes around. go. Alright, so that's the Dorian one. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy the whole thing. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to change key to, let's see, well, let's try a very scary Phrygian. Okay. And, alright. So here's Phrygian mode. Okay, and in Phrygian mode, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch it to Phrygian dominant. Because then that gives me a... I want to change it to Phrygian dominant. That, please do it. Uh, nope, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Okay, well, let's go back to... Anyway. So I have this Phrygian thing, and um, okay, here's the problem with uh, Phrygian mode, such as it is, it's because it's a D, it's a, uh, what do you call it? The, the five chord is naturally diminished. So I'm gonna borrow one. And I'm gonna borrow from the major. No, yes, to see what I get there. And then five, I have these augmented chords too. That's kind of cool. So let's see, let's try to. Da, 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 da. I'll lower that a half. Try to get rid of the dissonances before. I have them. All right. Let's see what happens. All right. So you have this augmented chord that just sounds to my ear. I'm going to borrow it. Borrow, 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 borrow. And I'm going to borrow just a garden variety uh, minor. So get rid of that. So I'm going to borrow some chords here. And no, I'm not giving them back. All right. So here we go. So the the big deal with the the 
the uh, Phrygian, and it has a really exotic sound because you have that half step between the first and the second scale degree. Um, but let's just play them all and see what happens. Now this one would be good to bookmark. Um, so like if you're trying to extrapolate ideas or developing your ideas and you want, um, sometimes um, you'll hear on recordings where the, where the performers will work through keys on their way to somebody else. So this would be a good like transition. I wouldn't use the Phrygian, me personally, um, as like the thing, cause it's just, I think it's just too foreign. Um, to my ears, it just sounds out there. Um, but, you know, we're, we're looking at different flavors. Okay. Different flavors of the same thing. Um, all right. I'm going to do key change. I'm going to change this to, well, what happens if I do Lydian? All right. I should be able to do B. There we go. Okay. So Lydian has a diminished fourth chord, which is problematic. And if you notice between this one and because of that, there's really not a huge um, change. Let's give it a listen. It's not gonna be dramatically different from the first one except for that diminished fourth chord, but let's see what we can do with it. All right. And F sharp diminished, ugh. Let's see if I can, so this is one of those things when you find a harmony you don't like, you just borrow one from someplace else. Um, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to borrow from... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a... What if I did... I can have a diminished chord, but what if I made it... What if I did that? Exactly my happiest thing. So you know what I'm gonna do. I wonder if I invert if I get because I right now I have this this one five six seven and the C the seven one doesn't sound too bad. The thing is I got all these in root position. Uh, let's make an inversion. Let's see. If I did that. Uh -huh, I don't think I like that. Oh, interesting. Wasn't expecting to be that surprised by it. Let's see. Let's make this a. Uh, let's see if I can get this. Six. Okay, now I can't. Yeah, I can have a five or six. Um, no, I don't want that one. There we go. I'm keeping the. So the C, B, C, B, and the bass. Let's see what that does. All right. 
gives it kind of a pensive quality. So here's the first one. I can live with that. Um, play. All right. All right. Now let's go back to here. I'll start there. Okay, retains the same shape, sounds slightly different, definitely Phrygian mode, I'm sorry, not Phrygian, uh, Lydian, and it still works. So I'm going to go over here now. Let's try Mixolydian. Mixolydian, 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 Mixolydian. I'm going to go there, and I'm going to hit paste. All right. All right, so Mixolydian has the minor five. And let's see what this sounds like. All right, so because of the, the way it's harmonized, there's like literally no difference between this one and the, and the first one. Um, in the second half. This one, because I have, it's got that minor Mixolydian feel and I want to retain that. Um, let's see if I, what if I did some kind of sort of way to maybe invert it. To give it a slightly different feel. Ah, oh, wait a minute. I can I see what I can do. All right. So I'm looking at the uh, bass part here. Let's build some tension in there. So I got this A. I'm going to borrow a chord so I can keep this sort of cool chromatic line going here. I'm going to borrow the... I want to make this a minor. I want to make it a minor. No, let's try minor. Minor. Yeah. And then I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a first inversion. So I have this cool bass line. C, B flat, A, A flat. Let's see what that does. Ah, oh, that is cool. I love substituting the minor four for the regular four when it works out. Um, okay, and then I have this one. And let's see if I make this one into a six. And then what can I do with this? Make this a... What did I say? Minor four, borrow from minor. And then I'm gonna invert this one. So I'm changing the bass line just by, there we go, one note. So I have C, B flat, A, A flat, then I have C, B, A, and then A flat in the bass. I just like these parts, uh, probably, I'm not a bass player, but I play Barry Sax a lot for a long time, and you sort of just get used to, um, you like to play along with the bass parts. So here we go. This one, so even though it's, it's Mixolydian, um, I'm doing it, but I'm changing the bass line to give it a different feel. So let's see what that does. Cool. Oh. So here's the first one. All right. 
then I had this one. Oh, awesome. Okay. So, you just see by that, by playing with the modes, you can build tension and stuff. And you notice I'm not having to change a whole lot. You know, you just got to, you do need to know, you know, your inversions and where you can borrow from. And, you know, you just get that um, with time. But, um, God, I love this program. All right. One more key. And we're going to go to C minor and see what happens. All right. Ooh, well, that was scary. All right, so let's uh, raise that. Let's get these on the chord tones. Okay, so, all right, for those of you out there in theory land who are like, you have to have a major five, you know what? Pooh! But I'll do it for you anyway. Um, 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 um. So, let's see. Here's the modal one. There you go. Huh. Okay, so that's the modal version. But I know some of you out there are like, we have to have a major five. So fine. There. Let's see what this does. Probably not a whole lot. Because I'm not even using the lead. I'm not even going anywhere near the leading tone. Hmm. You know what? I like the minor. Uh, go back to a regular. No, 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 no. Anyway, I want to go back to. There we go. Back to the regular minor five. Okay, so let's look at the bass line here in this uh, Aeolian mode. I really like this A flat. an ascending bass line? What's that do? Not bad. And then let's see. Okay. And then I have an ascending bass line still here. So C, E flat, F. get some, what if I wanted some tension, more tension in there, what could I do? No, no, sometimes there's just not enough notes, you know, you want to try something. Let's see, G, well, let's try, let's try what we did over here. Like I don't have a, A flat. Huh, let's see what that does. Let's 
Okay, okay, got this circle of fifths thing going on. B flat, E flat, A flat. Um, let's see. There you go. Well, let's see. Playing with the inversions here. All right. So that would be my Aeolian mode. And even if you notice on these last two, I was really looking at the bass line. Because uh, believe it or not, your bass line is really what gets your listeners because it's the glue, it's the, the chord progressions and the way they go that hold them together. So this one is your starter. All right, and then here's your Aeolian. You know what I could do just to make this stronger? I'm going to cut this one in half. Okay. No, 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 no. Undo. I want you to go. No, I don't want an add. I want to change you. Oh, okay. I changed that one. I wanted to change this one too. Okay. Really start to dig in. I'm just gonna put in the minor five here. There we go. Let's see what that does. Gives you that five one. Even though the original doesn't start out with doesn't have the five one, I want to insert it here. Let's see what happens. There you go. That's what it was missing. All right. Okay. Now, just for fun, we're going to do something I don't normally do. We're going to go to C. <gasps> Locrian. Okay. Ugh. All right. Let's see what this sounds like. So all the notes are now transposed to C Locrian. See what happens. It's that one diminished sound that now if I'm going to keep it pure Locrian, which is the, that's the sound of Locrian. Um, you have to have that one diminished chord, and then since it starts on a diminished chord, there's really nowhere for you to go. Except up, or change the key, or use it to modulate to something else. But this... Yep, that's low green mode. I'll just leave that. Anyway, so let's give a listen to all of them here. So we started out with this idea. I went from the regular major, Ionian, then to Dorian, where I did everything I could to try to save the shape, um, but sometimes you can't. Um, then I did Phrygian. It says Phrygian dominant. And then I went to Lydian, where I used the change, got the some tension in the bass. And then I have Mixolydian, where I use more tension on the bass, and Aeolian, where I also use tension in the bass um, to really offset them from their uh, 1564 generic pop sound. So here we go. Here's all of them.
Dave Grohl. Oh. Okay. Now, I know some of you will say that this one isn't purely Lydian because I have managed to avoid that, um, that augmented um, force. So you don't really have a Lydian flavor in here. Um, with the exception that I'm using a minor seven instead of a diminished seven chord. So I, I, I will take that criticism that it's not an F sharp. I just decided I didn't like it, so I threw it out. Actually, wait a minute. To, uh, up, up there. There it is. It's right there in that E, this this one right here over the E over B chord. So there is a, there is a, a slight Lydian-esque feel. Um, but um, anyway, so uh, where was I? Where's my marker? There you are. All right, so that's sort of an introduction of how you can take an idea. So if you've sketched out your idea in Hookpad and whatnot, I encourage you to copy and paste it in another section in a different mode because it opens up ideas, okay? I'm not saying that every idea is going to be great, but you know, um, coming up with the, the melody and the lyrics and stuff is probably the hardest part of, of your composition uh, craft. And so instead of trying to reinvent the wheel every time, we have modes, use them to see uh, how you want to put your music together. Anyway, if you found this um, useful, helpful, um, the studio is open. You can contact me in the link in the description. Have a nice day, and I will see you around.